Let's just start this up here. Uh, there's only two ways to go, huh? Interesting. Let's jump over. Let's see what this is all about. Let's explore each fragment. I'm pretty sure they're all gonna make sense at the end. First come, first save, let's see. Alright. Let's go away from Crazy Mira. <laughs> this is called the decontamination room? I think you're supposed to clean off after returning from the surface. Well, that was for when there was a nuclear war and the world was contaminated. Ah, uh, that explains the showerheads. <sighs> oh, just as I thought. This won't open either. The map shows an elevator hall beyond this door. If we came down the elevator normally, we'd be able to run into this room immediately, but... What about that? It's connected to the lounge. I checked it earlier, but no dice. Locked up tight. Do you think Zero trapped us in here to make us play the decision game? It's pretty obvious at this point. 1810. I think it was about 1330 when we finished voting and the drug put us to sleep. So that means we were napping like toddlers for four and a half hours. Mm -hmm. Junpei, I have something I've been wanting to ask you. During the vote earlier, you told Carlos... Come on, Carlos. Vote for Q-Team. Yeah, what about it? What about... How could you be so horrible? You used to... You'd never have said that a year ago. Oh, like you're one to talk. What? What? What happened to you, Junpei? What happened while I was gone? I'd like to know more about you, too. What's that, Carlos? Does that mean you're interested in me? No. My focus is my little sister. Got no time for a love life. Heh. So our hero of justice has a sister complex. Junpei? Carlos really is worried about you- Well, it's more I want to know about you both. Weren't you friends as kids? And last year you were trapped, just like this, and escaped together. So why? Why the animosity, you mean? That's exactly why. Junpei. I've seen people die. Horrible, cruel deaths I never wanted to see. So many. I'm probably becoming numb. That angsty music again. After what happened last year, I quit school and joined a detective firm. Oh. Oh, man. What made you want to do that? It was all because of Akane there. She up and disappeared, so I went to a firm to try and find her. It's small, but known to work among the underground. <laughs> I've snuck into places running human organ trafficking like they're trading cookies. Saw a co-worker I'd just finished eating with pushed off a rooftop the other day. Never had a by-the-books case where I just had to prove he cheated. Every job that passed my hands was dirty and dangerous. That's when I realized... Humans aren't as beautiful as I thought. I'd only been skimming the surface all this time. So every day, after work, I'd drink myself to sleep. I slept in my bathtub with the shower running. It was the only way I was able to get the scent of blood off me. Ooh. But last month, finally, finally, I got intel through our network that Akane was joining this experiment. So that's why you came to DCOM. Yeah, I threatened those in charge and forced my way in. Ooh, wow. So the whole time he was in pursuit of her, did everything for her, wow! I gotta give mad respect to Junpei. The shit that he went through though, good lord. Everything, from the normal game to after. So, um, Akane, how's Santa? Uh, I mean, Aoi. My brother. I heard about Ace. He's stuck in jail if he hasn't escaped yet. Lotus is doing alright. She's working and raising her kids still. Who told you this? That detective guy, Seven. I worked with him once. We destroyed Free the Soul's headquarters. Destroyed? Hey, uh, what's Free the Soul? A religious cult. <laughs> They're a freaky terrorist organization who never stop trying to create their new world. They abducted my brother and I ten years ago. 
And the game we played last year was related to that big kidnapping case. My brother and I were trying to track Free the Soul's movements, but... You were too, Junpei? I came across some info on them while I was working. Seven was the one still on their trail. But I kind of think we went too far by destroying their headquarters. I'm pretty sure we pissed off their boss. I, I think his name was Brother. So wait, you're saying the Zero the Second has something to do with him? You know anything about it, Akane? I already told you, I'm not connected to this. I don't know why this person is calling themselves Zero. Why don't you enlighten us as to why you joined DCOM, Akane? Junpei. Someone using that name has thrown us into a similar game. No way you can ask me to believe they're unrelated. Stop it, Junpei. From what I can tell, Akane's the victim. I'm here to change the future. Huh? Free the Soul is currently attempting to implement a terrifying plan. I infiltrated the experiment to stop that. So you knew that this game would happen? I don't know. I didn't know any specifics about all of this. But you just said it's to change the future. A very distant future. So you accessed the morphogenetic field and... D Hold up. What are you talking about? Oh yeah, Carlos is no jack right now. A little late, perhaps, but I will now announce the voting results. Ugh, why do you have to interrupt now? All three groups have voted for different teams. Four, none have been executed. The current death count, zero. I can't say this is an ideal situation for any of us involved. It appears that none of you fully grasp the essence of this game. Think back on the rules you were told. You will remain in the shelter for eternity until six people are killed. I will give you one last chance. A single action from you may result in your escape from the depths. What must you do? It's simple. I shall show you. What is going to show us? The other two teams are listening to a message just like this one. In their ward's decontamination room. What? The construction of all of them are the same. A yellow button exists on the wall in each. Oh, that thing. Pressing it activates the showers in the other wards, and they will rain down a solution of hydrogen fluoride. Hydrogen fluoride? It's not only acidic enough to melt a body, but it even dissolves glass and iron. Explaining what would happen if you were under it seems unnecessary. That button on the wall is your way to freedom. Using it will kill the other teams, and you will obtain the needed X passes to escape. I have one final thing to tell you. The early bird gets the worm. After the first team pushes it, the button will become inactive for both of the other teams. Your time limit is three minutes. What will you do? Will you press it or refuse? It is ultimately all up to you to decide. Isn't it obvious? Junpei! Wait! Let's think about this! Get out of my way, Akane. We need to push the button before the other teams do. What are you saying, Junpei? Are you really planning to sacrifice everyone else so you can escape? It's to survive. It's kill or be killed, so we need to make sure to kill them first. Junpei, one year, and you've changed so much. Ah! Junpei! Oh no. Damn you! Do you want to die? You're okay with never seeing your sister again? Maria. No way in hell I'm dying! I did not go through everything just to die today! Ooh. No! Don't, Carlos! If none of the teams push it, then it has to be like when we voted. Well, you're wishing on a star, we'll end up killed. Junpei! Push it, Carlos! 
Ooh, now we get this Carlos to make a decision to push it or not. I'm gonna try not to. I'm gonna try not to push it. I I wonder if we get to. Oh God. I'm doing nothing. I'm pressing nothing. I'm pressing nothing. God be with me today. We're gonna die. We're gonna die together. This probably was a horrible decision, wasn't it? Let's see what happens. Please don't die. Please don't die. It's been three minutes. Does that mean none of the teams... It has to mean no one pushed it! Oh, that was the longest 180 seconds ever. <laughs> You're telling me. I'm nearly drowning in my own sweat. <laughs> like I practically had that acid bath already. It seems there may be a misunderstanding, so I shall clear it up for you. I never said the showers would activate as soon as the button was pressed. Which means... You've yet to learn whether the button has been activated by someone. What? No! And when will we? Less than a minute left before we're knocked out. That means... So you're saying we won't even know until we're already melted into goo? Now, it is time for you to sleep. Oh. When next you wake, know that you will have no memory of these past 90 minutes. Pleasant dreams. Oh! So you wipes away the memory regardless of whether the showers are on or not. Interesting. So I wonder if there's a possibility that we won't even nobody ever even dies to the asset attack. Let's check on the flow of time though. Let's check on that just so we understand it. Oh look at this! Look at this! Look at this! Don't press! Don't press! We didn't press! Wait, does that mean we can continue this? It does open up an ending for us, so we can continue this possibly. Can we go to here? I wonder if it just lets us rewatch it or we get to continue to see what happens if we didn't press it. There should be a skip button available. Yep. I'm skip button available. I'm gonna skip through it and see if it gives us anything afterwards. Nope, gives us nothing. But I'm guessing we could then open up other options and try a different puzzle then. Hmm. Yeah, let's do some let's do some new stuff. Let's go over here. Let's see what this place is like. Looks like it's some sort of a puzzle room. Yeah, let's go do a puzzle, why not? Let's do another puzzle and see what it's all about. Poison. Ooh, somebody's gonna die. Calling it. Someone's gonna die. The infirmary. Uh, guess we were locked in here while we were unconscious. Huh? It opened! So that means... We weren't locked in? But why are we here then? Hmm. 1810. Greetings, C-Team. How are you feeling? Zero. Before we begin, I shall tell you an old story. Seventeen years ago, a woman was killed. One day, about a month later, a male suspect was located and arrested for her death. He claimed innocence, but the jury found him guilty. The verdict could not be overturned, and thus the man was executed. In her grief, the man's wife took her own life. Two young children were left behind. She left two children? We moved to several years later. New DNA analysis results proved that the man's claim was falsely convicted. The true culprit remains at large, their identity still unknown. Life is simply unfair, don't you think? Ah, more of these pointless stories. Calamity can occur without warning. Say, perhaps one day you woke up and found yourself injected with poison. That's not too odd to happen to someone. Just as it has to you. What? If you do nothing, the six of you will fall asleep. Only to never regain consciousness again. Six? Fuck you, asshole. 
The antidote is in that room. Find it. Good luck. We've been poisoned? I don't feel different, but I doubt he was lying to us just then. <sighs> we better get to finding this antidote. I didn't make it to today just to end like this. I need to do what I'm here to do. I can't die. You're right. Let's all get through this together. We'll find the way to stay alive. That must be an engagement ring. It has to be. It has to be. Let's seek a way out. Alright, let's go ahead and explore what this place is all about. It is an infirmary. I see a shiny thingy over here. Hello there, Cinder Syringe. A syringe. Time to take your medicine, Junpei. If only you've been wearing a lab coat while you said that. We do have a lab coat, so we got a syringe. We're gonna have to inject it into something. Alright, uh, let's see what else we got over here. A trash can. We could hide inside it. What would that do? Are you afraid that Zero will come and search for us? Maybe we can squeeze into lockers, but I doubt we fit into the trash can. I'm just kidding. Man, don't take it so seriously. Jumpy is a little angsty. He's a little Mr. Angsty Angst. Hey, lab coat! A stethoscope. We used to play around with one of these when we were kids. Don't you dare pull that one on me, Junpei. Haha! <laughs> they played doctor, didn't they? Ooh, what kind of... Usually when people say they play doctor, it's usually not a kind of innocent play doctor. It's usually the kinky play doctor. I wonder if the two are related. Hmm. Alright, well, I guess we'll never know. So there's nothing else for us to grab here. There's a potted plant as well. This plant looks pretty dead. There doesn't seem to be anything hidden here. We should keep searching around. Okay. The panel. I think that's a power box. I think so too, but... It's shut tighter than a pickle jar. Let's leave it alone. Might get might get shocked if you're not careful. Alright, so we can leave it alone. There's a liquid looking thing. Some kind of barcode reader. So that means we'll probably have to use it somewhere. A barcode reader. Uh-huh, interesting. Don't think there's a barcode here. Although this could be considered a barcode. Nope, never mind. Any barcode here? No barcode in particular. Okay. Let's go back and look around a little bit more. I hear the heartbeat sensor in the back. As well as the little ping. Ping. It's making me a little bit nervous. Listen, this canister has something inside. But what is it? It's luminal spray. Luminal reacts to the hemoglobin in blood. It's used a lot to investigate crime scenes. Maybe we can use it here. Aha, uh -huh, luminal spray. I wonder if luminal spray can be also used with a syringe. It cannot. But we can use luminal spray to spray something. Gotcha. No reaction here. Alright, so we can use it in places. The poster? No reaction here. The candle? Nothing. Okay. The plant? No. Nope, not here. The machine? Not gonna lie, the heartbeat monitor in the back is really nerve-wracking right now. I don't know why. Nothing here. What about this here? We shouldn't hold we shouldn't hold on to the spray bottle if we want to just search around. Yeah, we shouldn't. No reaction here. Ooh, I wonder if, now that I think about it, maybe this can be combined together. No. Never mind. Ooh, now that I think about it as well. Nope. Nope. Nothing. Let's keep looking around a little bit more. It probably has something to do with lockers, isn't it? Probably. Let's go and test it out. It's locked. We need a combination to open it. Uh -huh, we don't have the combination right now. There you go. That's what we needed. Whoa, something appearing. Something's written on the locker with blood. Uh huh. So what have we got here? We got lockers. Let's go to lockers. Five two eight six nine three four thirteen one thirty nine two seventy five. Uh, five twenty eight first. A combination locker is. This locker is probably five twenty eight. Five twenty eight. Not gonna lie, that heartbeat sensor in the background. 
And a little ping. Ping is making me a little bit on edge of a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, and it's unlocked. There's nothing inside. 639. What's this? Numbers? It kinda looks like someone was dying when they broke it. 693. Uh huh. Combination to open this locker is probably 693. 693. There we go. Open that. I think I got it. It's a lock. Good job, Carlos. Nothing inside here as well, huh? Interesting. Combination for this locker must be 413. Let's see if it works. 413. There you go. So I wonder if we gotta arrange the numbers in a certain pattern. Ding ding ding. I guess the number worked. This is a Q puzzle. Is he making us solve this? Oh, come on, give me a break. You never did like this puzzle, did you? Even when we were kids. Let's do our best. Okay. Puzzle cube. Cube shaped puzzle. Though all the parts are, aren't fitting together, right? One of those, huh? Taking it apart, putting it together over and over. My head hurts. This could get a little stressful, because at least... And cause lasting traumatic harm to kids, apparently. This could cause people har kids harm? Lasting harm, huh? Interesting. Oh, I see now. Wait, so what have we got to do? It's not going on though, that's the thing. Oh, okay, I see now. Oh, alright, I'm seeing it, I'm seeing it now. Alright, interesting. Guess we can look around for it. All right. So this, this definitely gotta go in here. Can I turn it with this? No, I cannot. Thought I would be able to. Nope. That's not what I. Ah, damn it. Thought I could turn it a little bit easier, but I can't. Okay. This definitely gotta go over here. Hey, not too bad. Not too bad. All right, the puzzle is done. Something come out of it. Ugh, that was annoying. The sugar picked me up. Let's find the antidote. We can look for candy in the lounge after, okay? <laughs> I wonder if this guy can combine together with this to read the cereal bar. No, it can't. It's investigated though. This key card. What could we use? What could we use this? If only it opened the egg store, we'd be out of here in a hot minute. But the egg store needs passwords. This card must be something in the room. Uh huh. Interesting. Combination to, to open this lock is 139. Should work. 139. There we go. I wonder if we gotta arrange the lockers in a certain way to get a bigger combination for something else in this room. A good unlocked. Nothing, huh? Let's try it with 275. Maybe we'll open. Okay, sounds good. 275. Nice. Alright, we didn't good, we didn't good here. It's kinda getting cold as well, so I need a... After recording this, I'm gonna need a, a warm pick-me-up and then I can keep going. Carlos Junpei, in a locked. Now we can open it. Huh, a card? It's a picture of a syringe pointing at the candle. Must be some kind of hint if it was placed inside the locker... Inside this locked locker. Oh, okay. I see what we gotta do now. Alright, well, let's go ahead and get back here, get the syringe, and point it at the candle on the poster, wherever that is. That's a lot of blood over here, Jesus Christ. Alright, let's go over here. Huh? Card said to inject the candle, so I, so I did. It's not doing anything. I don't think the cards are wrong, though. What are we missing? Probably need some sort of a liquid for this place, don't we? It's a humidifier. Skin dries out during the winter. Humidifiers are well helpful. 
I never thought about that. Must be rough. What if we use the spray? Oh no, the spray we dumped the spray. Never mind. So we don't have to worry about the spray whatsoever anymore. Let's use the card. We have a card. Let's go ahead and use it all in here, I think. Hey, it fits. Can we use the CRT scanner now? Let's try it out. Uh, Carlos. Okay, Carlos. I'm gonna start the scan. Got it. Oh wait, I got the wrong voices. Got it. Hope nothing bad shows up. Let's see what we get. Aha! Uh -huh. Hey, look! The results showed up on display over, over over the desk. I wonder if we gotta get everybody now. Let's try doing this for everybody. Let's get Junpei. I'll leave you two to work on the machine. You can count on me. Make sure to slice. You, make sure to slice you up, Junpei. Oh, yeah, technically you're not wrong, but you could have phrased that less terrifyingly. <laughs> Pretty sure there's well, there's an animosity from him. Animosity from her because of animosity from him now, so oof, it's gonna be a rough relationship. Scan results is up on the display over the desk. Over the desk, would you go check it out? Not yet. I need to go ahead and do last scan for Akane. Yeah, <laughs> get ready, Akane. Don't do anything weird while I'm laying down. Lay, uh, while I'm just laying on this Junpei. God damn it! God damn it! There was slight flirtation between him and slight animosity, but it's still something. Scan results is up on a display over the disc. Let's go a uh, desk. Let's go check it out. Is that everything? However, is that everything we needed here? Nothing over there by that table. Nothing in the medical department whatsoever. Anything behind the poster? Nope, not even a hole. Never mind then. Hmm. Not much we can really find here in particular. We still have the syringe and the bar scanner and the stethoscope. Stethoscope is gonna definitely. I wonder if we can use the stethoscope on the poster. When the picture's holding a candle. Don't we just find a card with a with a handle on it? Or the candle on it, sorry, not handle. No more humidifier, find a special bought it, never mind. Okay. Let's use the uh, barcode scanner. No? Huh? Barcode reader is, is responding. Maybe we gotta find something. We're really sure we gotta find something within this... Within this picture. Right? Not sure what we're we trying to find, actually. We've got to try to find something here. I feel like we got to do it slowly. Right? Let's have, for example, Junpei. Go through this. I'll be able to find something in particular that stands out between the bars. Right? Right? Am I right or am I wrong here? There's something here about this. There's something about this. Oh. 
Oh! Just scan him across! Oh, that's what it was! Hey, this thing just beeped. This thing. Check it out. Light under the turned green. So that's what we had to just scan across. Okay. A bottle of ink. And a love wrench. Must be needed for something since they're locked inside the drawer. I bet the bottle, bottle of ink gotta be combined with the syringe. There you go. Lug wrench, however, I don't know what to do with it much. Maybe we gotta combine it with this now. Nope, never mind. This? Nope, never mind. Had to test it. Had to test it out just in case. Consultation desk. Sujunpei so, so, Tamiyochi, what seems to be the problem today? Please, Doc. You gotta help me. I think I'll be poisoned. Too soon? Why are the two of you joking around? Don't have time for this. <laughs> they still got the playful nature with them. I love it. I love it. The both. Still really playful. Still really, really playful. Just, it just the, that's the personalities. <laughs> it's great. It's wonderful. I think it's empty. Anything else we can find in here? A shelf. Pretty normal one. It does look like the antidote's here. Check somewhere else. Nope, nothing here. Desk, nothing at the desk, I don't think. Oh! The drawer. Doesn't seem to be locked. Totally empty. No use looking in here. So if only the antidote was here. Nothing important inside. Never mind. Chair, nothing. No more chair. Let's go and inject into the uh, candle now. Hey, remember that card we found on locker? Isn't it hinting to the candle? Oh, I get it. We do inject the candle with this. Well, we can put it. We can put the ink in somehow. So let's see what it does. The ink spreading across the bottom half of the picture. This isn't creepy at all. So that card was hinting and ejecting the candle. These two shapes at the sides are strange. I wonder what that could be. They're both candles, huh? This section kind of looks like a candle. Maybe we can inject it in the spot too. Uh huh. It's pointing to the top right. Doesn't this part look like a candle too? Maybe we can inject it here too. Hmm. Now it's burning up and left. Can we look at it more. Oh, and now we can use the log wrench on these particular points. Looks like there's a bolt in this X mark. Let's use a wrench to take it off. And we got to use it at all of these points. Looks like there's a bolt in this X mark here. Maybe the wrench can can, can take it off. Yeah, sorry. Let's go back a little bit into these bottom areas as well. The X marks where there seems to be a bolt in. There we go. Get it out. X marks seem to have a bolt, yep. And the place comes off. Ooh. What do we have here? Picture slid up. Something came out. What's this? What's this? Looks like there's something inside the glass. Could it be the antidote? Number there. But what is this combination? Why don't we try turning it until it clicks? That'll be that easy. What if we find a particular file regarding this? Blueprint? Nope, that's not what we need. Uh huh. So that's what we're gonna need here. Get us back up a little bit. Status as well. Oh, of people alive. It's weird that we got now pictures of them like this. That's interesting. That's real, real interesting. <laughs> that's kinda cool. Now that we found the pictures, now they all are gonna be their own selves, except Q. We don't know who Q is just yet. That's a mystery here. But we know Akane is there. <laughs> Akane is just represented as a cat girl. It is Moe AF. <laughs> okay. So we can't do this just yet. Nope. Randomly spinning it won't do any good. If only we could hear what's happening inside the dial. Maybe we can unlock it then. Oh, the stethoscope! That's what we could use it for! Nice! Maybe we can use the stethoscope to hear the unlocking sound. Let's hope it works. Okay, everyone, be quiet. Okay. Okay, okay. I was thinking it would be one of those like locks where you like turn right, turn left, turn right. But it's not. Start from the beginning. Okay, 
15. Okay, yeah, I went past it. That's that's what that's what happened. Fifteen. Good. Okay, so that's what it was. I just I didn't let go of the mouse because before what I did, before what ended up happening is. I was holding it down, or holding down left click. I was turning it one way and got the first click. Turning the other way, got the second click. Turning the third way, got the third click. I should have let go of the mouse in order to open it, but I didn't. I kept going, and that's what screwed it up. <sighs> okay, that's all it was. That's all it was. I was thinking it was gonna be like some sort of five combination or four combination, but it wasn't. Turned out. So yeah, now it was actually a lot simpler than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, I think it's unlocked. Where'd it go, Carlos? Let's open it up. So what do we have in here? Any items? Nope. No items. In cases look like they could contain an antidote. A, B, and C. All the way to H. The eight cases. Each has a button with a small container. Just what are these? Oh! We done? Oh, we done! Oh shit, we done! Okay, cool. Awesome. 